I'm going to play another weird horror game, I think. It's called Dreams of Pain. Sounds lovely. It looks like something that would be in the haunted demo disc. Haunted PS1 demo disc. Like, it really, really looks like that. I think... Progress start will delete your progress from last session. It has, like, the PS1 kind of... This kind of thing. Looks like a haunted PS1 game. We're on a boat. Whoa. Dreams of pain. I am your supervisor. It is understandable for you to be confused now. But in time, everything will become clearer. Good luck. I'm pretty sure that was the guy from the Dharma Initiative from Lost. In fact, I, 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 I know it was. It was his face, exactly. That was the Dharma Chief. Not Dharma Chief. Not to be confused with Dapper Chief. Yeah, poop in a little hole. Yo, I told you this is haunted PS1. I don't know what we're doing, but this is 100% a haunted PS1 game. What? Cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. Can you see? Hello. Uh, I can't interact with this dude. Okay, bye! Freak. What? Okay. Don't know what my goal is. Did I come out of this place then? Yeah. Okay. We're in a bar. Can I interact with this dude? You're the new guy, it's not an easy job. There's no bartender, just a guy on his own drinking coffee. In a bar, where they don't have a coffee machine. It's good. Alright. It's very creepy. But I'm very, very lost. We're in an Amazon warehouse. No bathroom breaks allowed. What are you? You're like a little, yeah, a little. Ooh! I found a sheet. Are we collecting? Is this Slender? Are we playing Slender? Is that one of the sheets? Slendy man's gonna get us. He's gonna do his classic. Oi! I'm stuck in the wall. Okay, well. That's great. All F4. We'll start again. We'll give it the benefit of the doubt, but not going well. A first person mystery puzzle game with strong emphasis on the atmosphere and mood. The game is not recommended for the impatient person who gets easily frustrated. It's extremely unlikely for a person to be able to finish the game alone without help from friends. We recommend you not buy this game if you expect to have instant or easy rewards or rewarding gameplay. It doesn't hold your hand. Some of the puzzles in the game are types of puzzles you've not seen in any game before. That, to me, sounds like um, the puzzles are bad. <laughs> no, maybe... maybe. <laughs> All right, come on. Dharma. Okay. I am your supervisor. It is understandable. For you to be confused now. But in time, everything will become clear. Good luck. Uh, I wish Antares were here. I need him to, to tell me if that actually is the guy from Lost. Ah, uh, Dharma. Right, so it's not for the impatient person, which I can tell, because I move, like, incredibly slow, and I can't run. All we know so far is there's a guy in there that was like an eye exam that we can't interact with, and there's a guy in a bar, and we can interact with a jukebox, and that's it. 
I am an impatient person. I won't lie. I do. If I'm going to play a game like this, at least the game told me that it's going to be like that. Because um, I've played a lot of games that are very slow and annoying. In fact, we played the back rooms game. That just sucked. It was just... Ooh. And it had no atmosphere like this one does. This one's very creepy just being in it. Um, but it also would be good if you knew which doors you could go into and things like that, you know? Where are we going here? Right, well... God knows, we're in the middle of freaking nowhere. And the place is huge as well. And I walk so slow and I don't know what I can go into and out of. I don't think that means it's not a puzzle for impatient people. I think that just means... You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. Just walking around is... With nothing going on or nobody saying anything. At least if we were like picking up letters or, you know, there's somebody doing a little bit of a voiceover every now and then telling you stuff. Speaking to you, creeping you out. But right now I'm just walking to the end of the bloody world. And all these doors, I can't go in any of them. And now I'm stuck. Okay. Wait, so I couldn't go into that. It's like an invisible wall blocking the door. Okay. Can I go into this one? Nope. Yeah. Game is not made for impatient people. I don't know if that's a fair thing to say. Or if what you're saying is... I don't think you're impatient if you just want, you know, to extract in, you know, joy. Or, or fear or some kind of emotion that you, you know, that, that gets your heart going. From a video game, people, a game that people, you know, something that people use to entertain themselves. I don't think it's fair to call them impatient to want a video game to deliver some emotional and, or, or like, you know, entertainment value to them without having to just walk slowly around a, a, a empty square. Uh, that seems quite. Hmm. It's definitely not valid, but I mean, it also seems kind of a... I don't know. Stuck up, I guess. Ooh, my game's artistic, because you walk really slowly and you don't know what's going on. Is how that comes off. If, even if you didn't mean it that way, it just kind of comes off like that. Okay. Where are we? I probably won't play this much longer. Oh. Because, uh... I mean, well... Yeah, what am I doing? You can go into the walls and it goes all weird. Well, we found us way back out again after walking around there for an hour. So, cool. Alright, yeah, I found something awesome. It's the gym. Look at these buff dudes. Is that Tim Robbins? It definitely is. <laughs> HIV gym. Okay. Nice. Runaway treadmill. It says HIV, yes. HIV's gym. All right? That's... that's. I didn't make the gay gym joke, all right? The game made it. It's not on me. It's a good one, though. Okay. Hey, we're in a church. What could be creepier than a church? Not much. 
This priest is fucking huge. Or is that supposed to be a statue of Jeebus? The old Jesus. Bye. Doesn't look like a church though, you know? It'd be cool if the buildings looked like the things that they were. That'd be interesting, right? Instead of it all just being like random nonsense doors and then you walk in and it's a giant arched church or a gym. It'd be cool if the buildings actually resembled anything or had signs above them, I guess. But I guess that would make me an impatient loser. Welcome to Preppers where everything's worth it. Okay. Okay. I, I eat bottles bottom first, out of cash. Can't buy anything, I guess. End of the world vibes. We're back in the Amazon warehouse, so I know where I am then. Actually, that might be a different one. Oh. Different doors, though. This isn't where I was. Yeah, this isn't... It's all, like, randomly spawned. Can you see? I, I can't interact with these dudes. Anybody said anything besides the guy in the bar? That would probably help as well. Right, I think we're done. I think we've walked around the entire city. We have seen um, essentially nothing. I think it's fair to say. And uh, I guess that's what the game is, which is... Uh, the, the atmosphere is cool, I won't lie. If there was a goal in mind, it would be interesting. Or if we had any idea of what even the world was about, you know, from some small intro or weird it was just the you know dharma guy uh, who told us nothing i don't know just because your puzzles involve walking around for a hundred years clicking on a single pixel out of this entire massive world uh that's that's not i mean i'm just i'm just assuming because that's what the back rooms was um but that's not very interesting to me. Do like the atmosphere. Do like the look. Everything else is a pass. I really hate walking around so, so slowly. I think we've seen everything we're going to see here. Especially because it's a demo. If a game like that, it's like, oh, it's got puzzles and stuff that are really complicated and long. It's like, well, this is a demo. So you need to cut that down, right? I mean, you're not going to put in all the puzzles and, and things. So what does the demo contain? How far can I go? Can I actually reach the end? Or is it just going to let me walk around this place? Hey, look, the building's back here. And uh, this is where we started. And I thought this was the guy. Yep. Yeah. So sometimes that, that disappears, right? That building disappears. Because look, this is where the bar was. But do you remember when this building wasn't here? Maybe that's something to do with the puzzle, eh? The building's gone. I don't know. Maybe you've just got to walk around the streets in a certain way, which... I hope not. Because <laughs> that, that would just be hell. But I feel like that's kind of what's going on. Like, if I go up and around here, that building disappears. Still there. The building has disappeared. Yeah. Because I walked around in a specific way. So the starting building has gone. And I feel like that's part of the puzzle. And I don't know why.
Is that the puzzle? Okay. Perspective puzzles. Not perspective. Yeah, I guess. Like Superliminal. Not Superliminal. What were the other game? The game before Superliminal and all those. A lot of perspective puzzles and weird. If you turned around, the the whole world could just be different in the blink of an eye. It's still gone. Yeah, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't. I think just walking around. If I walked around this way, the the building would come back. Let me confirm. It's like if I walk down this street. Go along here. Building's there, not there. I go up and around here. I think the building comes back, right? Oh no, it doesn't. Okay. Well, we got one to disappear. I don't know if you're supposed to try and make all of them disappear. I don't I don't really get what to go next. That is Dreams of Pain. Um, it's definitely a pain to move around and stuff. Just not really my thing. Dreams of pain. And I do like games like that, that are atmospheric and interesting, but it's got to have something else. It's got to have a purpose, right? You can't just be like, welcome. Things may be confusing, but good luck. And then just, there's nothing. That's, that's not really good. Uh, I'm going to give that one a... A two. Still a low two from me. Let's move on. We've had, god damn, more tiny, tiny games. Crazy.